Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sayin Gura and in this video we're drawing and coloring Shana from Fire Emblem. As you can see, right now I'm started by picking out various skin tone colors to check which ones would match best with her skin. I chose E000 for the base color and I looked at E51 and E53 for a more darker skin color, um, for extra shade. In the end I went with E51 which is a bit lighter and I went with R00 and R20 for more pink tones, which I use in her cheeks and in some of the other areas of her face that, um, that uh, are a little bit more pinkish in tone. So as I was drawing, I was very disappointed by the quality of the paper, um, as the paper really sucked up all of the ink from my Copic markers, um, which results in sort of yeah, ugly looking drawing, um, especially on video. In real life it turned out quite nicely, but it takes a little uh, bit for the ink to properly dry and blend, basically. Um, at this part in the video you see me pick out the colors for her hair. Uh, it's the same, the same way as I picked out the colors of the skin, so I just started with some of the colors blue that I really liked. Um, I started with B00, which is one of my favorite uh, colors within the Copic range and one of the colors I think that I use the most. Um, generally my technique for hair is just start at the roots and at the beginning and uh, swipe upwards in short strokes uh, in order to create a nice highlight effect in the middle. Uh, you see me put down here a little bit of a darker shade which is B04, uh, a shade I also really like. Um, in the beginning I had to say I really thought I ruined it when I used this darker shade because it was so much darker than that beautiful paste, uh, pastel uh, light blue that I initially put down. Uh, but in the end I actually am quite happy with it and I think it turned out quite nicely. Um, it's just a matter of persevering even if you think you fail. <laughs> um, her uh, eyes are also blue and I recycled the colors uh, or I used the same colors that I've used in her hair. And it's also very important if you color in eyes that you never forget to shade the actual white part of her eye, which is something a lot of beginning artists often forget to do. But I find that if you take the time to uh, shade it with, uh, in my case it was B60, it gives a lot more depth to the eye. So don't be afraid to shade in there. And uh, every shade that you add just makes the highlight pop even more when you add it. So um, now I'm currently doing the rest of her skin color. Um, again, since it's an A4 pad and the paper wasn't very good, it basically wiped out my marker because it was it cost me so much ink to do. Um, and this part uh, is her armor. And armor is of course notoriously difficult to get right in coloring because it's so much different from uh, organic skin and soft things that I really try to make sure to keep as many straight lines in here as I possibly could just to get the contrast with the softness and the smoothness of her skin and of her uh, organic clothes um, and getting in the colors to make it appear metal was also quite difficult so I used various yellow tones I used I21 and I used uh, Y04 to get more of the yellowish tones in and then uh, Y double zero in order to get more of a yellowish uh, tone in there. Then of course there's the rest of her outfit and I swear this entire outfit has so much blue that half of my blue markers actually ran out and I um, I have to buy new ink to replace them, which is fine, it's just uh, I haven't really taken into account uh, how much ink uh, this would take. Um, so yeah, as I was drawing this I actually felt like I was making tons of mistakes. I did so many things that I regretted like I had so many oops moments uh, as I uh, as I was uh, creating this that at some point I was like oh my god I'm never going to fix this or is it never going to look right and how on earth is this going to look in this video and what I'm going to tell my viewers and it was just I was really insecure uh, about it and it was very very difficult for me actually to keep going because it really demotivated um, However, I really firmly believe in uh, not giving up on something, even if you uh, think it's a failure. Because very often, any mistake in art that you make, you can fix. It's just a matter of uh, perseverance, a matter of uh, keep, that you have to keep going and just try to make the best out of what you've got. I mean, this armor, for instance, I thought it looked quite hideous as I was doing it. But the more I just kept going over it with 
B24 and then B04 and then uh, B00. Uh, in the end, it actually blended fine enough that it turned out uh, quite nice. I mean, the final result I am, I am quite happy with. But, uh, for me, this entire piece was a big lesson in just finish what you start, keep going, because you might actually surprise yourself. And I, I actually did surprise myself. It's something um, that I really liked in the end. So here, I actually have a metallic uh, Pro Marker, so a silver one, which I use for her clasp. And I also used it on the little tiny silver clasps that hold up uh, her shirt above. And I uh, noticed actually that um, I hadn't finished the drawing entirely, so I just drew on the final part of the belt. Um, that was also because I knew I wanted to use a little bit of brown in her gloves, so I wanted to make sure that the color that I used in her gloves would also be repeated in a different part of the drawing, so the color balance would, uh, would be a bit better. Um, yeah, so um, now we're up to the gloves again, lots of blue, and I use pretty much the same structure uh, and way of coloring as I did the, um, the rest of her uh, armor and outfit. So I started with the darker part, B24, and then the B04 um, uh, in the secondary part, keeping open a tiny part that's much lighter, uh, and then I use B00 uh, to uh, blend everything. and use all of the colors that I use to uh, make sure all of it blends in together. Oh, and this is the most exciting part. I was so nervous. Uh, it's inking, of course, and I was so nervous when I started this because I was really happy so far with how the drawing turned out and I love the pink uh, lines, which I use uh, the Prisma Color Race uh, pencil for. Uh, I saw it recommended by a different YouTube artists. I think it was Juicy Ink for the first the first time I saw it, and I really love those pencils. It gets such a nice effect. Um, so yeah, I was terrified to ruin uh, the pretty lines by inking it badly because, to be honest, inking is not really my favorite part of uh, a drawing. And generally speaking, just sort of feel like it's a burden I have to get through in order to um, in order to get to the fun part, which is drawing for me or coloring for me. Uh, however, I really wanted to do this right, also because this is my first real YouTube video with an actual commentary, so hi! If you, let, if you heard me say this, please let me leave a comment and let me know that, you know, my effort wasn't wasted. And, um, and let me know about your art mistakes. Uh, have you ever had a, a period or an artwork that you were like, oh my god, I felt so hard. Uh, please share it with me and then we can just be... Uh, talking about all of our insecurities together <laughs> but as you can see I just stuck it out and um, I took extra time and extra care to make sure the lines looked right so I made sure that um, uh, the lines at uh, away from the light source so the left side of her uh, were thicker than the ones in the front side and I made sure to play around with uh, the thickness of the lines to give that extra smooth and dynamic look basically and um, I'm uh, pretty happy, uh, actually. It's quite surprising to me how much you actually can achieve if you just keep going and going and going. Um, of course, if you keep going and going, instead of uh, carefully planning stuff, then you can also accidentally go too far and do too much, uh, which I also have a lot of experience in. Um, but in this case, I took my time, I went in fairly slowly, um, but still, I was, I'm quite happy with the end of it. Um, here's the armor, and uh, again with the armor I was very careful to make as many straight lines as possible in order to uh, keep up the feeling that it was metal and uh, something that's man-made instead of something that's organically uh, created or something soft. Um, so the hard lines really help with, uh, help with that. At the same time it's such a big contrast with the way her shirt look, looks, so uh, I made sure to take extra care in drawing the shirt very fluffy, with lots of round lines. Uh, actually, I tried to not put any kind of straight line in there, just to keep the contrast uh, with the silver part of her armor much higher. Initially, I also used the same type of uh, color for both her shirt and for the armor, which is B60. However, I thought that the armor definitely needed to look a bit more metallic than that, so I used a C1 and a C3 in order to give it more of a grayish uh, tone to it. So, uh, why Shana? Why Fire Emblem? Well, I've been a huge Fire Emblem uh, fan for forever, basically since the Game Boy Advance games uh, uh, came out here in the West. I think Blazing Sword was the one I played first with uh, Lynn, Hector and Elliewood. 
who are definitely still my favorite Fire Emblem characters. Uh, did you play Fire Emblem? Do you also absolutely love Hector or maybe someone else? Then uh, leave me a comment, let me know if you are or who else your favorite character is. So for me, uh, I didn't actually know this character, but I was playing Fire Emblem Heroes, which is the mobile game uh, that's been uh, uh, released very recently. And uh, the art in there is so gorgeous. They've redrawn basically all of the characters from all of the games uh, in multiple poses and uh, in different type of situations. And you can take a look at that art from uh, if you ever recruit a character. So, um, yeah, I fell in love with it when I saw it. She looked so cute and adorable. And I was just uh, really happy with that. And besides that, I also wanted to draw a Pegasus Knight. Um, since forever, basically. Because I wanted to challenge myself and draw more um, animals. Um, what you're seeing right now in the video is me using some of my pencils to give a little bit of more texture to her hair by drawing more of her strands, drawing a few strands in her hair to give that texture and coloring in her lips a little bit. Normally uh, you could also use um, pencils to give a little bit of a blush, however in this case um, uh, I didn't think it was necessary, I thought the copy was better. Here I'm testing colors for uh, the Pegasus actually. I initially uh, wanted to use a cool grays, so to see uh, gray series, but I thought it was a bit too cold. And then I actually remembered I had warm gray colors as well. I have a W1, W3 and W5. So I colored in the Pegasus using these three colors, um, basically focusing on W1 and 3 for the skin and W3 and 5 for the hair. Um, Initially, you also saw me use my uh, white jelly roll pen to do the highlighters, but it was basically empty. So I only finished up her face and then it just kind of failed on me. So I really need to buy a new one. Um, but right here, I gave the horse uh, the same color as her eyes. Um, and I continued to draw uh, to color in the rest of the skin. So basically, the horse is so big, it takes up nearly the entirety of the A4 page. Um, which I kind of miscalculated again how much ink that would actually take. So uh, for this kind of paper size, I really, really wish I had used the watercolors to do it because that's so much easier to color large areas with. I mean, the head's fine and then um, the neck area is also fine, but besides that, everything is just so much space. Um, but in the end, I think it turned out quite nice. So here you can see me get started on the wings uh, and by this point I was kind of regretting uh, coloring this in with Copic markers. Um, so it was also very difficult because I wasn't quite sure how to draw these wings properly because technically speaking you wouldn't really see the, uh, uh, the wings up that far I think. Um, still though I just figured I'd, uh, I'd, I'd try to draw them like uh, angel type of wings. I actually use uh, a brush marker to uh, do the lines um, here because I wanted them to be really thickly. But because they were so thick, I made sure to um, use a smaller fine liner to uh, uh, draw and make the lines a little bit more thin, taper off at the end, basically. Um, and um, hopefully we're nearing uh, we're nearing the end now. So by this point, my lighter warm gray colors were actually. Uh, uh, sort of running out, so I really was forced to use the W5 much more um, to actually a nice effect. I kind of like uh, like how it turned out, and um, so I used the uh, the chisel part of the of the Copic marker a lot more instead of the brush nib because these areas of the coloring were just so big. Uh, and in order to offset all of the blue, I uh, I added in a little bit of green in the background to give it more of a forest uh, or a tree type of feel, like they were not not in the air, obviously, because she's sitting uh, sitting on top of him. And um, because my highlighter died, I figured I'd use some uh, acrylic uh, paints in order to uh, uh, use the white highlights uh, instead for the horse. And I'm really glad I did because again, there was just so much area in this that I just kind of felt. Uh, 
anything else would have been just been kind of a waste on such a large uh, area. So I basically painted in as best as I could uh, the places where I thought the highlights would be. And I used this interesting technique on the top part of the wings, which you can see right here, by just basically dotting, um, dotting down the, uh, the paint as much as I could uh, in order to get some more of a light effect. Uh, well, we're already at the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and if you want to see more, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I upload new videos every Friday. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment uh, so we can have a little chat together. Bye!